Okay, everybody, welcome back. Let's get started on this rather simple port security lab for Raynet Labs. We are uh, just doing some port security here. So Raynet would like to enable port security on the access ports on the switch to prevent the use of another switch to be connected. I guess their wording is always a little weird. That lets multiple hosts connect through the same port at the same time and to prevent the unauthorized host to connect via some port. Wow, their grammar is really bad on that one. All right, let's just jump in here. Enable port security on all access ports except gig one and two and set the parameter to allow only one MAC address per port and the action when violation happened is shutdown port. Okay, all right, I think we can kind of figure out what they're asking for here. Um, almost a little bit of a trick question because the default on port security rules is one MAC address per port anyway. So you don't actually have to set that parameter for one MAC address. Um, so let's jump in here. All right, so we want interface range. Actually, let's do this. Show IP interface brief first, just to see what we have on our switch. This is a 24 port switch starting at FA01 and has two gigabit ethernet ports. So we want to do interface range FA0 slash one dash 24. All right, and then we will do switch port, switch port mode access, turn it into an access switch, and then we want to do switch port, port security. That enables port security. Now, if we wanted to do set a maximum other than one, we could do this, and then there is a maximum, and then we could set a number for the maximum amount of MAC addresses that'll be allowed on those interfaces. But they only wanted one, so the default is one, so we don't have to do that. All right, the next one is on port FA01, there is an unauthorized host connected set. The allowed MAC address on this port to be the secure sticky method. All right, so we interface FA0 slash one, switch port, port security, so they want one MAC address, so MAC address, and we want sticky. Sticky will dynamically associate the first MAC address that hits that interface. We'll save it, and we'll not allow any other MAC addresses on that port. And let's see, now there is an unauthorized host connected to port FA. Okay, these Wordings on these are really rough today on this lab. So let's just do interface FA0 slash three. They want to set the MAC address to be this. Okay. So switch port, and we don't have to enable anything on one and three because we've already done that with your interface range command. So port security, MAC address, and then put in our address 0030.f295.15.1.1. C6. Okay. So now if we exit out of here, we should be able, it should be it. Let's see what our, they're saying 98%. <coughs> Everything is correct. Oh, so I believe this secure sticky method is probably what's making us not be correct. So because host one has not pinged anything, so the MAC address is not known in the ARP entry currently. Well, I guess it's in the CAN table of the switch. So let's try pinging a host here. Let's just ping one of these rogue laptops, 192.168.0.60. Okay, and we get a reply. Now, if we try to ping rogue two, oops, let's put ping in there first. Ping 
192.168.0.59, we should not get a response. Because this port FA02 is set up to only allow one MAC address. So we could ping um, we could ping the rogue laptop one again and it will let us. Oh, no, it won't let us because it's shut down. If we do a show IP interface brief, it's going to show us that it's down. Down, let's do a, yeah, status, down, and down. It's confusing when it's like that. There we go. That's way easier to read. Down and down. So the only way to do that would be to go back into that port. Interface FA0 slash 2. We need to do a shut. And then do a no shut. And that will bring the line back on. The interface back up. So we have 100% complete down here. This lab is complete. Thanks for watching.